Welcome, welcome! It's my dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today I thought I would bring a new series to my channel. Uh, today I thought I would go into FPS weapons. And I'm going to be more specific. We're going to talk about the Gallant Energy Rifle today. This is one of my, if not my favorite weapon to use in FPS. It's a really awesome assault rifle. So. Uh, the Gallant Rifle is a laser select fire assault rifle manufactured by Clausen Warner. Uh, its effective range is 50 meters. I'm going to tell you it's much better than that. And it can be fired in rapid and five burst mode. So burst mode, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, rapid fire, which is, you know, it, it's great. You're going to love it. So it's a dependable assault rifle that never goes out of style. Clausen Warner maintains the tradition by unveiling the Gallant. The Energy-based assault rifle is capable of providing accurate and sustained fire at targets up to medium range, while its high-capacity power system allows operators to fire considerably more shots per battery. This thing has 60 shots per magazine. Uh, a max range of 2,400 meters is what it claims. I'm not sure. I've never tried to shoot that far, but I can tell you it's super accurate out to decent distances. You're not going to miss with this thing. It's a great, fantastic rifle. Cost about 4227, uh, 4227 AUEC, and you can get this thing at all sorts of different places. Uh, live fire weapons at Cruel One, live fire weapons Cruel Five, live fire weapons Her L4 and Her L5. They have different variants. The Default, the Desert Shadow, the Midnight, the Stormfall, the Warhawk, the Night Stalker. Uh, so all sorts of different ones. I think you can get it at Port O and Area 18 if I'm not mistaken as well. <coughs> I love this thing. I really do. It is a phenomenal weapon. It has become my main. I used to rock a P8 for a long time, which is a really great rifle as well, which I will be covering in a future video. But this gallant rifle is just to me it is one of the best now when this thing first came into the game it had a different name uh, i believe it was called the att4 uh, they had a different write-up for it and it was called it said uh, despite all the advances in weapon technology there will always be a place for a dependable assault weapon Klaus and Warner maintains that proud tradition by unveiling the ATT-4 selective fire energy-based assault rifle capable of providing accurate and sustained fire up to medium range. Perhaps the greatest asset of the ATT-4 is the high capacity battery system allowing operators to fire considerably more. So they slightly changed the write-up on it. They changed the look on it. But let me tell you, they changed the stats on it. Uh, it was very difficult to bring enemies down with a gallant in the previous iteration uh, it just wasn't great it was not a good option it had great amount of ammo uh, so that was one of the best reasons to use it it had 120 rounds in a magazine back then uh, as you get a little closer look of it here kind of in the dark so i better put it in the light for you guys to see it but yeah now it's down to 60 per magazine not 120 per magazine and you know that is a very good number especially for as accurate as the thing is i can easily two and three tap most opponents no problem uh it's that good that accurate uh, i know eventually they're probably going to do some sort of rework on fps weapons and damage and how they affect armor or how they're affected by armor uh, but right now this thing's pretty awesome i run it with a times two holographic on the top and a silencer with a laser underneath. Now, in practical terms, you're not gonna want the laser uh, because I can tell you if you're playing PVP and you have the laser on and you're going to be walking around a corner, people are gonna see that laser a mile away. They're gonna see that laser come out before you and they're gonna know to be ready to shoot you. So, I would not run a laser if I'm doing PVP. Now, if you're just going against NPCs, it's kind of fun. You can kind of hit fire if you want to. Uh, it's just not recommended to run that laser on a regular basis if you think you're going to be going against player characters. Same thing with the field light. Uh, you have that light on underneath. It'll 
really let people know where you're at. Uh, so I would highly recommend that you don't do that. And eventually, I imagine the AI will be that savvy as well. So uh, again, it's not something you're probably going to want to run. Yeah, it's kind of flashy, but uh, I don't recommend it at all uh, unless you're just trying to be kind of flashy and maybe shoot from the hip. So here I missed the first few shots, which is kind of funny. I just said how accurate it is, but I wasn't accurate. Uh, there has been a lot of server lag and desync on my end today, and really the last couple of days. It, I think it's due to the fact that the new patch is soon to be here, and they really don't maintain the servers that you're playing on that much while they're testing out the new patch. It's like, what's the point? It'll, you know, there'll be another patch up soon. We can deal with it then. At least that's kind of the feeling I get. Now, most most of the time, I don't experience 30Ks anymore. I don't think I've experienced a 30K in, well, it's been a while. Uh, you can see how quick this thing is, especially on headshots to bring enemies down. But you can pump two or three in the chest as well. And uh, those enemies will fall uh, rather quickly. Uh, it's just a really great gun. Uh, you know, I tried it on burst mode. I think that's that my, that those first few that I missed, it was in burst mode. You can change the mode, the firing selector, by pressing the V button. Uh, again, I don't recommend burst mode at all for this gun. It fires super fast on the rapid fire mode. I mean, it's just click, 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 boom, boom, boom. The thing fires, and that was embarrassing there. I took a hit to the chest. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, I am not immortal, and on occasion that does happen. Uh, very rare, but, uh, you know, it, it does happen, and I'm glad I was able to showcase that. Uh, the gun does not protect you against getting hit yourself. So make sure you are clearing corners appropriately, not as stupidly as I just did. Uh, I would always recommend that you use uh, more advanced tactics, even against the lame AI. Uh, the AI is not the best right now. You see, it did not reload for me twice in a row here. Uh, a little frustrating, but that's one of the game bugs issues. Uh, this guy obviously didn't see me coming around the corner there, so it's all good. Now, what else can you do with this rifle? Well, I mean, it's it's a rifle. Uh, longer ranges, it, it works really well. I have not tested the max range on it. That's something that I would look forward to doing at some point or another. Uh, you can hardly see anything coming out of the muzzle because of the daylight, and <laughs> it's a laser, and uh, probably because of the silencer on the end. I do recommend you put an optic on this thing. It makes a world of a difference. Uh, pretty much an optic on any of your guns makes a world of difference. You can get away with it a little bit without it, with a shotgun. I like the holographic optics. Some people like the reflex. Uh, I would say that the holographic is much, much better. Uh, it's much easier to get a beat on a target. It gives you that little plus you know, through the scope there, as you'll see here in a minute. Reflex just give you a little dot, a red dot. Uh, it's like an aim dot, you know, that uh, you could get, or red dot you can get on a lot of modern day rifles. Uh, you can get either one of these on modern day rifles, actually, but uh, I do prefer the holographic uh, in games. Now, in real world, uh, that may be a different story. I guess I need a little more experience with both in the real world to give you my uh, ideas on that. But you can see I can acquire a target really quick and get the shots down. I know this is this AI is, like I said, a little lame at the moment, but I'm highly confident this thing performs extremely well against other AI, and I am looking forward to using this maybe in Star Marine in an upcoming org event or something. I think it would be a lot of fun. I'm able to switch from one target to the next. I put two or three shots into that guy's chest to bring him down. So, yeah, I, I think this is a great rifle it's probably my top two or three and uh, I, I think it's my top one I think the p8 is up there I like the custodian but the custodian has a little kick on it you can notice this thing has no kick uh, you can keep your shots on target really easily uh, the p8 is very similar in the fact that it, it you don't get you, you it, there's not a lot of muzzle flip there's not a lot of uh, bouncing around of the shot uh, you can keep it on target fairly easily. But this one, I think, is just, it's better than that. I mean, it's its phenomenal. Uh, I highly suggest that you go out and you get a Gallant if you haven't tried it before. Try it out on some of these missions. 
You won't regret it. You'll love it. Uh, make sure you bring a few magazines. You don't even need that many magazines because of how much ammo these things carry. It's 60 shots a magazine. So definitely uh, just pick up two or three and you should be fine. Uh, there's no way you're going through all that. So guys, what do you think? Do you like the Gallant Energy rifle? Uh, do you like this assault rifle? I'm a big fan. Let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for watching the video. Check out my YouTube members and my Patreon. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse.